The new version of Pro Tools 8 comes with an incredible collection of virtual instruments, loops, and processing plugins, and they're all part of the creative collection. Now, I love drum machines. I love all types of drum machines. And one part of the creative collection, Boom, is fast becoming a favorite of mine. Let's take a listen to it. So I'm here in the mix window, and I'm just gonna come up, put an instance of Boom onto this instrument track, just like I was assigning any other virtual instrument. Now the first thing you should do is check out all of these settings files because all of these grooves are organized by recommended tempo. Let's take a moment and take a listen to a few of them. I like that one. I like that one too. Let me go back to the uh, factory default. Nice. Now before we get into programming Boom in the next video, I wanna take a moment to give you a guided tour around the UI so that you know and you can see just how easy Boom is to use. I'm gonna start with the matrix. Now the matrix indicates the contents of the currently selected pattern, in this case pattern one. And there were 16 patterns that can be edited, copied and cleared. Now below the matrix are the global swing, volume and dynamic knobs and at the turn of a knob I can increase the amount of swing that Boom is giving to all the patterns. I can bring down the volume should I clip my channel and the dynamics, that determines how Boom interprets the three different levels of velocity and we'll take a look at that later. Now the drum kit selector is right here. It lets you choose one of the 10 drum kits that would be loaded into Boom along with the default pattern set. Now there are 10 instruments per kit, each with their own channel strip. You can solo, you can mute, adjust the panning, and also the level. Use the sample selector to choose a different sample and then tweak it to your heart's content. And don't forget about the little adjuster screw just here. I can add more snap or less snap. Awesome sounding. Don't turn the screw too far or it'll fall out and you'll lose it. Now when you recall the drum kit, all of those parameters will get reset. Now I'm stopping and starting boom with the transport just here. You've got a stop and a start button. You've got double time normal time and half time. There's also a triplet button. Nice. And the edit mode over here toggles between pattern select and pattern edit. And you can see the 16 steps running across the bottom, playing the illuminated steps that are also indicated on the kick line of the matrix. You can select different instruments to see what they're doing. Now in pattern select mode, none of the instrument strips will be selected. Select any of them and it will automatically put Boom into pattern edit mode. And that's nice. And of course, Pro Tools will lock automatically to the tempo of your session. That way you can audition all of the patterns that you program in perfect sync with Pro Tools. I'm gonna call up the clubs to patch, hit play in Pro Tools, and then start Boom. All patterns will change and clock perfectly with the tempo of your session. Awesome, I love this drum machine. So now that you're familiar with Boom, we can move on and I can show you how easy it is to program your patterns and we'll do that in the next video.